I live in, a, in Brooklyn, New York. It, it's kind of... Hold on, it's kind of a bougie neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> it's not really the Brooklyn Zoo, it's more like the Brooklyn Glass Menagerie, right? It's a different kind of thing. I know it's kind of bougie because they got things like hybrid escalates there, or something like that. Also, there's a lot of like black women pushing strollers with white babies in it, which is usually like a sign, right? So I was, you know, and this happened a couple of years ago. I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I saw a black woman pushing a stroller with a white baby in it, and it's fair to assume that's the nanny and that's the child she's taking care of. Now, there's other possibilities here, right? It's possible this child is this woman's partner's child from a previous relationship. That's certainly possible. Also, genetics is very complicated. Maybe that was her child, you know? But the child had, like, blonde hair and blue eyes, and she had dark skin. I didn't see. But look, that's certainly possible. Now, there's a third possibility, which is the least likely possibility, but the one I really want it to be. And that possibility is that this is a rich black woman who just bought herself <laughs> the ultimate luxury item. A white baby. Well, we were in inner city Stockholm last year and we just had to have one. I mean, we bought two, we bought two, but one died in the shipping. You know how baby shipping goes. You know how baby shipping goes. It's a common problem in our circles, right? Chances are that's not what happened, right? <laughs> Chances are that's the nanny and the child she's taken care of. And I'm trying to walk by these two people on the street when I overhear what the black woman is saying to the white child. This is what she's saying. Toby, your name is Toby. Can you say it? That's your name. Say it. Your name is Toby. Your name is Toby. One, two, three, four, five, seven. All right, all right. About, about 20 of you in the core demographic. Um, for the rest of you who are like, why is this interesting that his name is Tony? There's a book slash miniseries by Alex Haley called Roots. And in Roots, a slave Kunta Kinte is brought to America and is told his name is Toby and refuses to be called Toby, so he's whipped repeatedly. Your name is Toby, Kunta Kinte, whip. Toby, Kunta Kinte, whip. Absolutely horrific. Now, flash forward to my neighborhood in Brooklyn two years ago. I saw a black woman tell a white child that his name was Toby. And there was nobody else there to see this. It was just me the whole time, like, what the, f wow. Wow. I have been in a writing slump. This is perfect. Now, there are two possibilities how this could have happened, right? One possibility is that this black woman has also not seen or read Roots, has no idea why this is the best thing ever. Or the second possibility is that this black woman just found a revenge for slavery. Perhaps the best revenge since Jack Johnson. Not the white acoustic guitar playing Jack Johnson. I'm talking about the early 20th century black boxer Jack Johnson. The Jack Johnson whose two major hobbies were having sex with white women and beating the fuck out of white men, right? That Jack Johnson. Not the white acoustic guitar playing Jack Johnson who has had no impact on race relations <laughs> and arguably has no redeeming social value. <laughs> Unless you believe in nothing, then he is a man who speaks to your beliefs. <laughs> now, I make fun of Jack Johnson, the white acoustic guitar playing Jack Johnson, because he's harmless, right? He's also worthless, but at the bare minimum, <laughs> He's a harmless figure. I'm a comedian, easy target. You know how the game is played, right? 